pearls are like poets' tales, disease turned into loveliness, at the same time transparent and opaque, secrets of the depths brought to light to please young women who will recognize in them the deeper secrets of their own bosoms. If I know a song of Africa, does Africa know a song of me? To be fortunate in this life, we conceive an experience that allows us to fulfill our great purpose. But it is a terrible gift, for it can only succeed by threatening to destroy us. It sends us to the bottom of our faith to see if we are worthy of the destination. In 1931, Karen Blixen returned to Denmark after 17 years in East Africa. She was 46 years old, divorced and penniless, and broken-hearted, and she was returning to the same ancestral home that she had desperately left in pursuit of her destiny. The break with Africa was complete, and it had nearly caused her to end her life. To survive, she would need to generate enchantment from that world that lay buried inside her. She lived by weaving her thoughts into stories that would keep death enthralled. Her greatest feat of alchemy was a poetic memoir called Out of Africa. It bewitched the world, just as the secret truths buried in the memoir had bewitched her. She rose from the ashes of her despair, bearing new and yet ancient plumage. She became an exotic and high-flying oracle, as peculiar and universal as her stories. To know her renewing and reinventing power, one must submit to the anvil she embraced in Africa. But how does one wrap flesh and blood and dirt around the architecture of myth? How does one stoke the fires of her sorcery without breaking the spell of her enchantment? <laughs>